Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we are going to be learning about one of the most important components of PHP, loops. And loops allow us to repeat code until a certain condition is met. You see, a loop will go around and around and around multiple times, executing the code in between the curly brackets until a certain condition is met. Very similar to the if statement, but more powerful. So let's go ahead and learn how to write the syntax and let's learn how to use it. We're going to start with a very simple, very simple uh, loop called the while loop. All right. So let's go ahead and open our code editor and let's do a save as on the blank.php. All right. Let's call this while loop underscore loop. There we go. And we need, we don't need that. All right, so let's go ahead and let me just change the title here and just go wow loops. Why not? Right? Let's do this on the browser. Let's open it up. Perfect. All right, so how can we write the same type of a loop? Let me just expand this so you can see. The loops are very similar to if statement. All we have to change is the keyword if in an if statement for the keyword while and we already have a while loop very simple look at this so let's say we have an if statement like this let's first write our php tax i don't think this is going to work without it right <laughs> all right and let's close it down here and we say that space really doesn't matter this is just for to make it clear for you that that's what it is so let's change the keyword for a while and as you can see here my co-editor already highlighted the keyword there so while this is true while it is all right we're gonna repeat this when it's false we're gonna stop so for example very very simple very simple to do let's say while I don't know 4 is less than 10 I want you to keep repeating yourself. And what are you going to be repeating? I don't know. Let's do an echo and say, um, hello. I don't know what was that. Hello, students. All right. And not, that's not hell. Hello. It's unbelievable how this word is very close related, right? Well, not close related, but how you can just write a bad word there and you can write a good word right here with another which is like preview error so we're getting a, a error here oh okay I see what we're doing you see that and I'm gonna explain to you what happened here all right we created an infinite loop and just because my co-editor is already executing this code when I save it so we gotta watch it with brackets and saving that right so let's just go ahead and take that off right now I'm gonna show you right now what happened all right so while 4 is less than 10 we're gonna keep executing but the problem is that 4 is always going to be less than 10 that's why you see you saw the code there on the browser going crazy we just saw a lot of words there that's because the loop kept going and going and going and it never stopped because 4 is always gonna be less than 10 so this condition here will not be met what we need to do is change the four every time we go around the loop. So the loop will go like this. We first start here, right? It will look at this and say, okay, perfect. Apache will look at it and say, all right, we have a while loop. What's the condition? And then we give it a condition and we say, hey, listen, Apache, as long as four is less than 10, I want you to keep executing whatever is in these lines, right? This is Apache talking. Um, Right, we're, we're talking, PHP is talking to Apache, right? So now P, uh, Apache is going to be pro, uh, processing this and it's going to be giving us this every time it goes around. So the, the loop starts here and we go to the next line and we print it on the screen. Then it will end right here and then we go around again. It will look at the condition again. It will still be false and then we come back here and print this over again until this condition until 4 is bigger than 10. When 4 is bigger than 10, then it's going to stop. But like I said before, 4 is never bigger than 10, so we never stop. This is called an infinite loop. All right? 
and we can't write it like this. So what we usually do for a while loop is that we create something called a counter initializer, counter or initializer, whatever you want to call it, for the loop. All right. So we replace this four for that counter. We start the loop at zero. So this is what counter variable. We can name it whatever we want. We can name it i for initializer if we wanted to. Really doesn't matter. I just wanted this to be um, descriptive for you. Okay, descriptive. So counter right now is zero. So we're saying while zero, while this counter here that's equal to zero is less than ten. I want you to keep writing this code. So that's still an infinite loop. What we need to do to stop that infinite loop is that every time we go around before the loop finishes, we need to increase counter to one. All right, plus one. So we're going to add one to it every time it goes around. So this is how we add one to a variable. This is one way of doing it. So you, I, I hope you see what, what this is doing. This is outside the loop. We have a counter, right? of equal to zero and we're saying here as long as this counter which is equal to zero is less than you I want you to keep executing the code so it goes here analyzes this and goes to the next page and prints this out and then it goes to the next one and says okay it grabs counter we write counter again we add one to it so now counter is gonna be equal to one it's gonna go here it's gonna go up again now it's saying while counter which is one now is less than 10 all right execute this so it's gonna execute it again and it's gonna add another one to counter and remember counter is already equal to one now with this extra one it's gonna be equal to two and it's gonna keep going three four five six seven eight nine and then when it reaches 10 then this is not going to execute since 10 is not less than 10 then the loop will stop so they will, this will stop all right, so right now, if we want to see it when it stops, all we have to do is print it on the browser, and you see what I mean. And there we go. All right. Hello, student. Hello, student. Hello, student. All right. Nine times. Now, let me show you the shorthand version of this is of adding this one this is so common that there is a shorthand hand version for it called right here the increment operator right there same thing as all that code that we had see that and I'm just gonna leave it here comment it out so you can see it I'm just gonna comment that out and I'm just gonna write the real one right here well not the real one but the different one the shorthand version that way you have this in your exercise files there we go okay so now what I want to do is I want to show you I'm going to and now I don't want to echo hello student what I want to echo is the counter just to show you what happens look at that the counter starts at zero and goes all the way to nine and then stops because then it, when it goes to ten ten it says oh no 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 it's not equal to then it stops right here it doesn't go and prints out ten if you wanted to print out 10, then you say as long as the counter is less than or equal than. So when it gets to 10, it's going to print it out because it's equal. Look at that. So it prints out 10. Prints it out. All right? Very simple to write the, for, the while loop. On the next video, we're going to be uh, discussing about another loop. All right? So anyway, hopefully you were able to learn a lot on this code and uh, on this video. And you can see the power in this. We can, for example, use a while loop to go through a, I don't know, a paragraph or some type of database and say, while this user is equal to this, I want you to check the user and do this to the user. As long as this paragraph is read, I want you to go through every folder I have on my server and check for a picture. This is why we use loops to do things multiple times, repeatedly, repeatedly. Without a loop, we will have to copy and paste a million times to get things done, all right? So loops are very powerful, and if you learn the loops, you're going to be very, very comfortable with PHP. Anyway, on the next video, we're going to be discussing more about loops. Take care.